Further, Mahamati, I will tell you about the various features of the false imagination, or parikalpita, and when you and the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas are well acquainted with each of them in its specific form, you will get away from discrimination. And seeing well and knowing the way of inner realization by noble wisdom, and also the ways of speculation by the philosophers, you will cast off discrimination such as grasped and grasping and will not be induced to discriminate in respect to the multiple aspects of relativity knowledge or paratantra as well as the forms of the false imagination what are the various features of the false imagination mahamati they are the discriminations as regards one words two meaning three individual marks four property five self-nature six cause seven philosophical views eight reasoning nine birth ten no birth eleven dependence and twelve bondage and emancipation these mahamati are the various features of the false imagination now mahamati what is the discrimination of words that is the becoming attached to various sweet voices and singing. This is the discrimination as regards words. What is the discrimination of meaning? It is the discrimination by which one imagines that words rise depending on whatever objects they express, and which subjects one regards as self-existent and belonging to the realization of noble wisdom. What is the discrimination of individual marks? It is to imagine in whatever is denoted by words the multitudinous of individual marks which are like a mirage and clinging tenaciously to them to discriminate all things according to these categories warmth fluidity motility and solidity what is discrimination of property it is to desire a state of wealth such as gold silver and various precious stones what is discrimination of self-nature it is to make discrimination according to the imaginary views of the philosophers in reference to the self-nature of all things which they stoutly maintain saying this is just it and there is no other what is the discrimination of cause that is to distinguish the notion of causation in reference to being and non-being and to imagine that there are cause signs this is the discrimination of cause what is the discrimination of philosophical views? That means getting attached to the philosopher's wrong views and discriminations concerning such notions as being and non-being, oneness and otherness, bothness and not-bothness. What is the discrimination of reasoning? It means the teaching whose reasoning is based on the grasping of the notion of an ego-substance and what belongs to it. What is the discrimination of birth. It means getting attached to the notion that things come into existence and go out of it according to causation. What is the discrimination of no birth? It is to discriminate that all things are from the beginning unborn, that the causeless substances which were not come into existence by reason of causation. What is the discrimination of dependence? It means the mutual dependence of gold and the filament which is made of gold. What is the discrimination of bondage and emancipation? It is like imagining that there is something bound because of something binding, as in the case of a man who, by the help of a cord, ties a knot or loosens it. These, Mahamati, are the various features of the false imagination to which all the ignorant and simple-minded ones cling, imagining that things are or are not. Those attached to the notion of relativity are attached to the notion of multitudinous of things rising from the false imagination. It is like seeing varieties of objects depending on maya, but these varieties thus revealing themselves are discriminated by the ignorant as something other than maya itself according to their way of thinking now mahamati maya and varieties of objects are neither different nor one if they were different varieties of objects would not have maya for their cause 
If Maya were one with varieties of objects, there would be no distinction between the two. But, as there is the distinction, these two, Maya and varieties of objects, are neither one nor different. For this reason, you and the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas should never give yourselves up to the notion of being and non-being.' 